So uh, till now only 13 students have joined. Uh, okay, so anyhow, uh, let us start with this. So deflection of pin jointed frame. That's our topic. Today's topic. So uh, let us consider that if we just consider that a pin jointed frame, if you want to know, so. That's right. This one is a W one load, W two, W three, and this one is W four. Let's consider this point U, U two, U three, and U four. Similarly, this one L zero, L one, L two. L three and L four, and now there is a no acting at that point. So this is the Q. So uh, basically, when we consider a So pin jointed frame, then uh, members basically carry only axial forces. So this uh, all the uh, members will carry only axial forces, and the total strain energy if you want to calculate of the system. In that case, it would be uh, sum of the strain energy. If you want to know the sum of the strain energy due to the direct forces, there were the forces are acting on it in various members. And now, if you want to calculate the deflection, in that the deflection of that particular joint, uh, that could be in x direction or z direction, or y direction. So that could be given by the again partial derivative. So we want to calculate the partial derivative of that total strain energy, and with respect to the uh, force acting on that joint. So this is what we have seen in earlier cases. Also, now. Uh, Suppose there is no external force acting at that particular joint. In that case, you want to know the deflection. So what we do, we used to uh, apply a fictitious load in that direction, and uh, forces in all the members has to be calculated. Now, uh, total strain energy. If you want to calculate of the total structure, so that is to be uh, find out with the help of partial derivative. With respect to that, fictitious load. So, in such cases, suppose if you want to consider that, let us say, this, there is a P is the force which is acting in any member due to the external load. And we are going to apply. Let us consider that P is the is the force in any member. Force in any member. Let us consider due to the external load. And this Q. Let us consider that Q is. Is called as a fictitious load. Fictitious load. So fictitious load. It means that we have assumed that load, and this load is to be applied when we want to know the deflection. We want to calculate the deflection. And if we consider that, let us say this KQ. If we consider that this is the KQ, 
it is a force in the member due to this load q so uh, if you want to know the total force in the member so the first one that is a force in mem member due to the external load and we want to calculate the deflection at this point let us consider and we have applied this fixed load that is q we have applied here in that case the total force so total force if we just consider total force f would be equals to p plus k into q what is k into q is this one p due to the external load and k q is because of the so uh, now we know that the strain energy in any member so if we now want to calculate the strain energy so strain energy a member if you want to know so that formula is equals to f square into l divided by twice a so this formula you might have covered it uh, in the form so f square divided by 2a Now what is this a? A it is called as a cross sectional area of member, and L it is the length of member, and E you know that is the Young modulus. So now when we want to calculate the total strain energy. So, what would be the total strain energy? So, total strain energy. Let us say U, and what would that total strain energy of the structure? We have just considered total strain energy in member. Now, we want to know the total energy of the structure. So, do we will do? The summation of this F square L by two A. So F we know F is equals to P plus K Q. So therefore we can say this U would be equals to summation of P plus K Q. This whole square divided by twice A. Now we know that we, if you want to calculate the deflection, let us say. That this delta U, so if we calculate delta U by delta Q, so this would be equals to. If we just take the derivative, partial derivative, so this is equals to two into P plus K Q, and multiplied by K L. Divided by two A E, and if we just put here Q equals to zero, if we just put this Q equals to zero, so what we will get? We will get this deflection would be equals to summation T. K L divided by A E because this is going to be zero. Two two will get cancelled out, and this is how we will get the deflection in terms of summation P K L divided by A. E. And this formula will be utilized to calculate the deflection in such kind of strains. So that we will see. Till now, if you want to uh, write down this thing, you can write it down. So let us take two or three minutes. Write down all those things.
so uh, i suppose you might have written all these things and you got this uh, concept of delta so um, you know that uh, this if suppose if we just consider change in the length of the member suppose if we just consider change in the length of member that is delta and that is equals to pl upon a so that's the formula for change in the length of the member pl upon a and we know that this delta now would become summation into delta into k so that formula has been modified like this now k is a force in member that you know uh, because of the frictious load is applied at the joint k force wherever you want the deflection now this would be acting in the direction of the desired deflection now sometimes you may want to calculate the relative displacement now what is this called relative displacement so suppose that this is a pin on the frame Well, this is A, B, C, and the D. This is E, M, G. Now you want to calculate the relative moment. of two joints let us have this b and let us this g so what is the relative means in comparison with this b and g so what we will do we will apply the unit load or say fixed load say at b and g so let us consider that is called as a unit load this one uh and this is one so we will apply the uh, unit load at point b and g so unit load is to be applied so that is again fixed load now in this case now this load uh, where to be where to be applied so you want to calculate relative to moment so consider in this b and g direction so therefore what we can say relative displacement now we know that this is summation p K L divided by A. It is the formula. Now, in this case, relative displacement would be equal to summation P. Let's consider this K one into L divided by A. 
Now what is this K1? K1 is again this force in the member because of the unit load. So such kind of relative displacement is also calculated. Now, if you want to calculate the relative displacement in between E and F, in that case, that is also possible. So such kind of formula, that is the first formula, that is the deflection formula, this is delta, and this is the relative displacement, just, just like that. So summation TKL upon AE. Now using this formula, we, we can go for the solving problems, different kind of problem related to the pin jointed frame. Okay, uh, so if you are not written your name in the chat box, you can just write down your name in the chat box. Uh, but I don't know why the student attendance is very low. Only 14 students are joined. So what we will do, uh, we will solve the problem in the next lecture. Okay. So you can just write, if you are not written your name in the chat box, just write down your name in the chat box and you can leave the meeting. We will go for solving the problem next lecture.